Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and do you remember this hero teaser? <laughs> yeah, of course you did. Everyone's seen that three second clip of this season six hero, or what we all are assuming is the season six hero. It's the season six hero. Now, even though we're weeks away from the brand new hero releasing, we have gotten a couple of sneak peeks that could tell us potentially what the hero could play like in Overwatch 2. And we've even gotten concept art of the new hero made by a talented artist on Twitter that could also tell us more about how this hero could play. That's exactly what I want to do today was to discuss what the hero kit could look like and if it's good or bad for Overwatch 2. Now you might be saying to yourself, bro, you whack, how are you going to be able to tell us what the hero kit is going to play like from just a three second clip? And guys, come on now, I'm not stupid. I'm also going to be basing my judgment off of the screenshot shared by Aaron Keller in his recent blog post. All right, so admittedly, not a lot to go off of, at least on the surface, because while well, yes, both sneak peeks only share really the silhouette of the hero, we can use bits and pieces of knowledge that have already been given to us within Overwatch that can not only hint, but also confirm how this hero is going to play. First and foremost, we already know that the Season 6 hero is going to be a support hero. That was already confirmed in the graphic and confirmed by Aaron Keller, so we know that the primary weapon and probably the abilities is going to have some sort of healing aspect. But in that same graphic where it confirmed that the next hero is going to be a support hero, we see a background of a map of some sort, a very mountainous range. And well, that mountainous range is the exact same graphic of a Peru poster that has been used for countless years within Overwatch 2. So we know that they're going to be a support hero and we know, or we can assume that they're going to be from Peru, but also just even looking at the silhouette and the design, a lot of the assets used with this hero could be heavily inspired from the Inca Kingdom. Now, even though the sneak peeks really doesn't tell us how the hero is going to look, someone on Twitter actually made a great concept piece that depicts of how this new hero could potentially look, and they go by the name of Marthan Capoli, I hope I pronounced your name right because this art piece is absolutely phenomenal. Not only because you make the hero look fantastic, but you also give a depiction of how the hero kit could play within Overwatch 2, most notably with their primary weapon. But first thing I want to talk about is the actual design because this is phenomenal. You, you could honestly be a concept artist working at Blizzard, but the only thing that I think could possibly change when it comes to the classic design or possibly even legendary skins for this hero is the use of colors. Here in the concept piece you have blacks you have browns and you have hands and sand colors but when it comes to like uh, maybe it's the more cliche peru or traditional colors but there's a lot of brighter colors and threads used especially like with the use of ponchos and hats and stuff like that so uh, maybe we can see more of that inspiration tie into the classic skin of this hero but another important part of this design that also relays information of this hero possibly being inspired from uh, the inca kingdom or just uh, P peruvian people in general is the feather headband. I mean, we kind of see that in the silhouette of the sneak peek, these three feathers coming out from the headband. We see that same or a similar headband used by other soldiers within the Inca Kingdom army, and they also use a lot of the weapons that is kind of being held by this hero. It almost seems like this hero is using a modern assault rifle that's also mixed in with this like blunt object that's just used to knock out people with brute force. And while admittedly having a soldier 76 assault rifle where you can just swing at your enemies and knock them down for extra damage having that for a support hero just really wouldn't make sense but this is where a big healing aspect can come into play because potentially we could have our first assault rifle healing hero when you look at other support heroes we have Ana that uses a sniper to heal their allies and then we have someone like Batiste that uses a grenade launcher to heal their allies but we don't really have an assault rifle that shoots multiple bullets for a low amount of heals and this could potentially be the first assault assault rifle healing hero where you can shoot multiple healing bullets but maybe it does like five healing at a time and this is where you have to be super accurate because while you shoot a lot of heals if you're not accurate you're not going to be healing a lot of your teammates while it's very important for support heroes to be able to distribute heals to their team Otto is really the only hero that takes that to the full extreme where there's no cop out if you're bad at overwatch if you're bad at aiming you're probably going to be bad with Ana. so i think now would be a great opportunity to add another high skill gap support hero when it comes to aiming with that hero because while well, yes there's skill gap opportunities for all support heroes like with Kariko when it comes to cleansing or Batiste throwing your immortality or life weaver knowing when to pull or more when a Zenyatta knowing when to trans there's a lot of opportunities but not a lot for aiming <laughs> and I mean hey if we want to give them a secondary fire keep a short and sweet have it so that they can swing their assault rifle on enemies like if someone gets too up close you just 
onto them, you swing your assault rifle, and they get scared because, oh, they just got done dirty for 70 damage. But now let's talk about this hero's potential abilities and what I think is going to be the most assumed ability because, well, we see it in the trailer, we see it in the concept art, and we also see it in Peru history, which is the power of the sun ability. It's basically a flash. <laughs> if you've ever played Valorant, you are very familiar with flash abilities because half of the characters use it, and you're also very familiar with how annoying they are. And this is a big reason as to why a lot of people might not like the idea of a flash ability being in Overwatch. Now, if you, for whatever reason, don't know what a flash ability is, basically, you like throw a grenade or you just throw something at an enemy and if they're looking at that something then it's gonna flash a bright white or a bright color of some sort on their screen and it's gonna take out everything on their HUD. And we've seen a flash ability in countless video games. Valorant, like I mentioned before, in Call of Duty, I think in Rainbow Six Siege, but never in Overwatch with the exception of one time. Very long ago in Experimental Card, Wrecking Ball got a change where if you ran into his minds into his ultimate you not only got stunned but you also got flashed by it now it wasn't a bright white flash it was actually just a black flash it just took out your whole entire HUD with the exception of the UI on the screen for a little bit of time but th that was still the first time that we saw a flash ability in overwatch now do we need this kind of ability in overwatch two reasons why I don't think we need it with three reasons one if we haven't gotten it in seven years why do we need it now the second reason is that it would obviously be super, super, super annoying. And if we're trying to remove annoying abilities in the game, like with Maze Freeze or with Cassidy's Stun, even though they kind of already came back, why would we add probably the most infuriating ability that might not even have or add a lot of utility to your teams? Like, if you flash an enemy, and also this is the third reason why, it might not add a lot of utility, because if you flash an enemy, what can you really do in the couple of seconds that that enemy is flashed? Like, maybe flank as Tracer, maybe teleport as Reaper like I, like off the top of my head I'm thinking like okay that might not add a lot of usefulness to your team but I think people are being too small brain about this because while they see a sun and they associate with a flash what if that's her ultimate she is a support hero so what if instead of using the power of the sun in the palm of her hand if you know that reference you an OG spider-man fan but what if she uses it to cleanse her allies as her ultimate now we've seen this before or obviously with the cleanse ability, but never have we seen a hero use the power of the sun, bring sun rays down onto the ground to not only cleanse all your allies, but keep them cleanse so things like an Ana anti grenade or a discord orb or really anything a, a hinder effect from cassie's grenade or a maze freeze which i would actually hate now that i think of it but what if she brought down the sun and made it so that anyone that is under the sun got cleansed and stayed cleansed for like eight seconds or so this could cancel so many abilities and it'd be, it'd be cool but it'd be a cool ability hey if we want her ultimate to be an ultimate ability that's something that would be really powerful. I'm not saying it'd be balanced, but hey, I think that would make for a really cool ultimate. And it also tie into all the teasers that we keep seeing when it comes to this hero and the freaking sun. But then what would her other ability be? Because if she doesn't have a flash, then what would she have? Let her fly. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm half joking, but also half not. Just going based off the sneak peek, she is jumping into the sun. She is sort of flying. So what if we had our very first support hero that could fly on her own? I mean, yes, Mercy can fly to a teammate, but she can't fly on her own. So maybe this could be the very first hero that could potentially just have levitating power. Or I guess Zenyatta has that power. Oh, gosh, dang. You know what I mean? I want a natural hero to be able to fly. Fly. We don't really have that with a support here. I mean, Batiste can jump and Lucio can jump and Zenyatta can float, but I want a, a natural flying hero. But guys, that's my analysis of this hero and her hero kit, at least that we know of so far, which isn't a lot. But I mean, hey, when we think about this hero kit being able to cleanse people with the sun, being able to use an assault rifle to swing on her enemies, she or they are pretty cool. We don't even know the gender of this hero. But until then, until they come out, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come and bye.